Welcome to Sheet Leveler. I'm Lee and I'm here to help you make the most out of Excel. With our easy to follow video tutorials, you'll be able to learn how to use Excel in no time. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to add an average line to a graph in Excel, so you can quickly and easily visualize the average value of your data. Let's get into it. In order to display the average value in a chart, we must first calculate it. Let's add an average column next to the column containing sales data. We're going to modify the column's appearance to match the rest of the table. Perfect! Let's continue. To find the average of the values in the first row of the column average, click on the first cell in that row and type equal sign average. Choose the suggested function and select all the data that will be used to calculate the average. The range of this data set includes all values in the sales column. We will finish the process of closing parenthesizing and pressing enter in order to view the outcome. In order to create a line graph in which each month's average is visible, we must replicate the function across each row in this column. If we simply copy the function, the result each month will be a different number rather than providing us with the average value. When copying the formula, the range of cell references shifted along with each row, resulting in the formula being applied to the incorrect cells. As you can see in our sheet in row 3, the cell range is from C3 to C14, and in row 4, the range has shifted down by 1, so it starts from C4 and ends at C15. To ensure accurate results, we need to ensure that the formula references the same range in all instances. This will ensure the function correctly calculates the value for each row. In order to secure the data in the cells, we should lock the references. To lock the cell reference to the first point of the range, C3 in cell D3, simply click into the reference and then press the F4 key. Depending on the type of keyboard you have, you may not need to press the function key. The dollar sign indicates that the reference has been fixed and will remain the same when the formula is copied to other rows. Every cell in the average row will now be referred to as cell C3. This is called an absolute reference is a type of reference that is fixed and does not change, as opposed to a relative reference which is based on its location in relation to other cells in a formula. Let's repeat the same process using C14. Now that the values have been locked, press the Enter key. Now. Let's copy the function down to the rest of the rows in the column. The result for each row is now accurate, so we can proceed with including the average line in our chart. How can I accomplish this? To add the average value as a line to the chart, click anywhere near the chart. Then, in the table, highlight the data range already shown in the chart. To expand the selection to include the average column, click and drag the bottom right corner of the selection. Excel successfully incorporated the average column data into the chart. However, the chart could still use some improvements. We would like the average value to be displayed on the graph as a horizontal line that runs through all of the monthly bars, instead of appearing as an individual bar next to each month. Let's work together to resolve this issue. To modify how the average values appear in the chart, click on any of the average values. We can now clearly identify each value as they have been marked with blue circles. This allows us to properly format them. Now, we want to access the Change Chart Type option. Click on the Chart Design tab at the top of the screen to access it. We need to be careful when selecting Line as this will cause Excel to turn both the average value and the sales data into line graphs. We want the sales data to remain as they were in the original chart so we should be sure to not select line. In order to have the best visual representation of our data, we should choose the combo option, which will allow us to display the average as a line graph and keep the rest of the data in its original form. This way, we can clearly see the average value of our data. With that, we want to confirm this by pressing OK Perfect, just how we wanted with the average as a line graph. The great advantage of adding an average line in this way is that the graph is dynamic. If any of the input data such as November sales changes, the average value will automatically be recalculated 
and the chart will be updated. This saves you the time and effort of having to manually redo the graph every time the input data changes. Excel can quickly and easily help you with that task. If you want to learn more about working with charts, such as how to add a trend line or use additional chart elements, I've created video tutorials to guide you. You can access the tutorials by following the link in the description. Is this your first time with me? I'll be more than happy to welcome you to our online community. Hit that subscribe button and join us. And learn how to use Excel like a boss. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.